Who is Thomas Matthew Crooks, the young man who planned and executed the attempted assassination of one of the most important men in the world, Donald Trump? What is true and what are the most absurd rumors that circulated on social media after the incident? Here on the Brugger Films channel, you already know it's no nonsense and top-notch animations and production, so go ahead and leave your like. And if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, help us by subscribing and sharing with your friends. But after all, who was Thomas Matthew Crooks? And why did he decide to commit this attack against candidate Donald Trump? Thomas Matthew Crooks was a 20-year-old young man born and raised in Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. He graduated in 2022, where he was recognized for his academic performance, even winning a $500 award from the National Math and Science Initiative. After graduation, Crooks worked as a kitchen assistant in a nursing home. His colleagues and supervisors described him as a respectable and hardworking employee. Crooks' parents, Matthew and Elena, are behavioral health counselors, but there is no indication that they knew of their son's plans. Contrary to what circulated on social media, Thomas had never been arrested. Security agencies investigated and found no criminal record in any state or federal system. With no history of drugs or crimes, his record was clean. There were allegations that Crooks was transgender and part of extremist groups like Antifa. These claims were also debunked by investigations, which found no evidence. There is also the allegation that Crooks received money in his bank account, raising suspicions of a hired crime. However, this is just another fake news story added to cause confusion in an already tragic event, diverting attention from the real facts. But how did a 20-year-old know how to shoot so well with an AR-15? Crooks developed his shooting skills through hunting and sport shooting activities. He was a member of the Clareton Sportsman's Club, where he practiced regularly. He meticulously planned the attack, hiding the weapon in advance at the rally location, an AR-15 rifle he took from his father. He also bought ammunition hours before the event. The weapon was legally acquired by his father and was properly registered. An AR-15 weighs about 2.5 kg and is used by civilians for sport shooting and hunting. Standard magazines usually hold 30 rounds of 223 Remington or 5.56 Sec 45 mm NATO ammunition. Being a semi-automatic rifle, it fires one shot per trigger pull and is effective at distances of up to 500 meters. Crooks was at a distance of 130 meters from the candidate at the time of the shot. Detail, the AR-15 is not specifically designed as a sniper weapon, and we can say that Thomas had good aim in the shot that injured candidate Donald Trump. The young man reportedly made a post hours before the attack on an online platform used by gamers with the following message. July 13th will be my debut. Watch how this unfolds. Crooks chose a strategic location to carry out the attack. He climbed onto the roof of a building near the rally site, which offered a clear line of sight to the stage where Trump would be speaking. A high point outside the security perimeter allowed Crooks to have a significant tactical advantage. On the day of the rally, Crooks climbed the building's roof, carrying the rifle. Witnesses reported seeing a man climbing onto the roof and alerted authorities, but he managed to reach his attack point before being confronted. Once in position, Crooks fired several shots towards the stage. Said, Take a look at what happened. He managed to hit Trump in the right ear and also fatally wounded Cory Comparatore, a spectator trying to protect his family, in addition to seriously injuring two other people. In Crook's car, the police found materials that could be used to make rudimentary explosives. These materials included components that, together, could form an explosive device. Without apparent accomplices, Thomas Matthew Crook's motivation for committing the attack against Donald Trump has not yet been clearly established by the authorities. The FBI continues to investigate the case, but so far has found no concrete evidence explaining the reason for the attack. 
Thomas Matthew Crook's neighbour talks about his encounters with him. Um, I was I was shocked because knowing that he lived so close to me that he did something like that. It's just it's it's shocking. I've Friends. never seen the only times I've ever seen him is him walking around the neighborhood. Like he sat by himself, didn't talk to anyone, like didn't even try to make conversation. So it was just kind of odd. Um, he was an odd kid, but I didn't like have any issues with him or anything. Um, he was just he was just quiet. I've never noticed anything off. I mean, he was just a normal kid to me, walking around the neighborhood. I mean. He was just a bit odd, that's all. No, he was just, it's like a normal person. I mean, he's just like, just a normal person who seemed like he didn't like talking to people. Crooks did not leave statements or manifestos revealing his intentions. And his social media did not contain threatening or ideological messages that could explain his actions. The FBI found that Crooks had photos of Trump and the current US President, Joe Biden, on his phone. He had also looked up the dates of the Republican rally in Pennsylvania and the Democratic National Convention. The truth is that the dust from this event has not yet settled, and at any moment, something new may emerge. Trump claims he will investigate the incident thoroughly. After all, his life was hanging by a thread, or rather, by a few millimeters. A shot that, if it had hit its mark, would have changed the entire course of a country's history. After the attempted assassination of candidate Trump, Joe Biden withdrew his candidacy and declared his support for Kamala Harris. It seems that if Thomas Matthew Crooks had succeeded in the attack and managed to escape, he could have continued his hunt for the other candidates. After all, there were images and photos of both Trump and Biden on his phone, as well as records of both candidates' rallies. With a weapon, over 50 rounds of ammunition, and a vehicle loaded with explosives, all signs indicate that the assassin was not going to stop there. But what do you think of all this? Did a 20-year-old boy with no history of violence plan and execute an attack on one of the most important men in the world? Could Trump's security have made such a big mistake that it was fooled by a 20-year-old teenager who managed to fire eight shots before being taken down? Comment below as we really want to know your opinion. Thank you once again for watching. Don't forget to leave your like, subscribe, and of course, share with your friends. This way, you continue to help us with our productions. A big hug and see you next time.